With this video we compare the Sony A99 II with the Canon EOS 1DX2 at ISO 25000. So Canon's EOS 1DX2 is a Canon's flagship camera, has all the advanced pro features. It was announced on February 1st, 2016. This is a camera which uh, sells for uh, 6,000 US dollars and uh, among the characteristics it has, he has a 20 megapixel sensor. Sony Alpha A99 II is a Sony's flagship camera from Hamount, uh, features a 42 megapixel sensor and sells for about $3,200. So for this comparison, <coughs> we cannot, of course, compare uh, um, side by side uh, the picture out of this camera because the different sensor density gives different images. So we had to resize the so uh, camera image um, uh, to make a happen to happen comparison. So in this picture you see the resolution uh, on the left side of the Sony and on the right side on the ca of the Canon and as you can see the detail seems to be better preserved in the downscale picture from Sony and uh, rumor is also uh, equally well controlled. Um, so even this um, um, picture here shows that fine details um, are perhaps slightly better preserved on the Sony uh, while the grain, on, grain and nose on the background wall is comparable, perhaps a notch, uh, in favor of the Canon. So same picture here, if you look at the label of this bottle, um, particularly this one, which is full of fine details, you can notice a detail better preserved for the Sony camera. Um, pencils with different colors uh, and the metal uh, part of this paper container uh, also seems to be better details and refined in the Sony. Here a number of <coughs> paper tissues uh, with different colors and textures, um, especially if you see the pink one, um, the detail is better preserved um, while the Canon is fairly melted. Um, once again, in the background picture uh, seems that uh, granulometry is uh, a bit bigger uh, on the Sony downscaled image. But overall, <coughs> I would say pretty much comparable. Uh, so this means that with such a high detail camera, uh, you can have a uh, very, very good result in extremely high ISO. Remember, this is 25,000. And a detail that, as you can see also from is certainly uh, better preserved on the Sony. So the brush with little uh, fibers um, is not very different. And um, yeah. The detail of this part of the bottle is very, very comparable. Yeah, all in all, uh, you cannot be disappointed by this uh, all-purpose Sony camera, which remains a strong buy recommendation, uh, really for all uses, from sport to portrait to low light.